Okay, for those who pay attention, you'll notice the background behind me has changed. The reason it's changed is because at the moment, I'm stranded in Auckland while waiting for a so-called friend slash business deal um, to pay up on some money they owe me. The reason being is because I no longer have a home. I no longer have a home because the Ombudsman's Office has again done absolutely fucking nothing. But piss me in circles, make excuses, and again, do nothing. Winds, on the other hand, are still doing the same routine of um, uh, 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 being the chimpanzees and motorboats that they are, and doing nothing but fucking me in circles still. So I've got to the point now, I've started again getting in touch with media organisations, so hopefully somebody will actually get off their ass and look at all this stuff and actually do something to assist me, because it's election year. And our government should not be the same government. It should be changed, not just upstairs, but down below as well. It's about time New Zealand started getting off its ass and doing the right thing instead of the wrong thing. People who get in this country get paid to do the wrong thing more than they do to get paid the right thing. When you ask them to do the right thing, you're ignored, treated like shit, called names, insulted, and basically abused. Makes you wonder why I live in this country. Answer is because I have no fucking choice. Why? Because I have a health condition that the New Zealand government gave me, will not take responsibility for, and then lies through its teeth and makes excuses for. Ten years ago, I took them to court. They stood up in front of a high court judge and said to the judge that, oh, um, when's the Ministry of Health are supposed to cover my costs? And they said that this sort of shit wouldn't happen to me again. Five years down the track, it's done exactly the same thing again because I'm now in year six. I've been bullshitting, lying, purging my files and treating me like crap. And I've had enough. That's why I keep making these videos. That's why I keep telling everybody who will listen what's going on because the person who was supposed to get me out of this miserable shithole has not done so. You all know who that is. That's why I've been making those videos for the last year and a bit about what he's been doing and how he's been treating me. Because it's about time everybody got to know what he's like, same as what this government's like. And some people don't like my videos, tough noogies, because everything I'm saying is true. Everything I've spoken about is true. And in most cases, I even have the paper copies to prove it. So please do not insult me and try and make out that I am nuts when I am not nuts. I am just extremely pissed off with the way things are going and the way people are treating me and behaving.